Hello everyone, you're watching PC Helper and welcome to another video in the Python 3.9 tutorial series. If by the end of this video you feel like you have learned something today, then please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular content. In the last video of this series, we talked about arithmetic operators and variables in Python. In this video, we'll be talking about strings in Python. So let's start with definition of strings. Strings in Python are arrays of bytes representing Unicode characters. And if you don't know what Unicode character is, then Unicode is a specification that aims to list every character used by human languages and give each character its own unique code. But let's not get into it because it's not that important. So to start with, just open your Python ideally. So as you can see, we have opened the ideally. Here, just write a string. So to start with, I'll just write rock. So this is a string, I'll press enter and as you can see, I got an error here. So to represent a string, we use either single quotation marks or double quotes. So as you can see, I used double quotes and then wrote rock. So in return, I got rock again. And when I use single quotes, the result was the same. So to represent string in Python, we used either the, we use either single quotes or double quotes. Now we can put it into an, into a variable if we want. So as you can see, X is equal to fig in quotes. And then when we want to access X, then we get the result is equal to fig. So it's really simple. Now let's take an example of a string named I don't know. So as you can see, we use single quotes, but there's a single quote inside a string. So as you can see, what Python read it was I D O N and then the string was closed. And after it, we got an invalid syntax error because the string was closed because of this first or second single quotation mark. So to eliminate this problem, it is really simple. You can just use double quotation marks and then use single quotation mark inside it. So we won't get any error. So as you can see, I here start started with double quotation mark, but ended with single quotation mark. I got an error. So I started with double quotation mark and then ended with double quotation mark and use single quotes inside. So it was just okay. But what if we want to use double quotes inside a string? So let's take this example. I am brave and brave is inside double quotes. And we ended it with double quotes. Now we will get an error. Obviously we'll get an error because a string ended after M when we use the double quotes after it and after it, everything was garbage. So we got invalid syntax error. So to eliminate this problem, what we have to do is we have to use this special character named as escape character. And when we use this escape character, then the character after it is not considered as a special character. So as you can see, after this backslash, we have double quotation mark both of the time. So it will not consider this double quote as a special character once we write backslash before it. So we got I am brave. This is a string now. So now let's talk about another operator that is print. So if we write print and inside inside print, we write anything. So now I'll write print X. So we'll get the output is equal to X. So our X was equal to fig. So we got fig. Now let's try another thing. So in print this time, let's write, um, let's write, I don't know again, but this time we'll write another special character that is backslash N to write. I don't know. So as you can see, I wrote, I don't know, but before N I put a backslash and let's see what's our output here. So the output is I do and T noise in the next line. It's because backslash n is a predefined special character which stands for changing it to next line. So whenever we write backslash n inside print, so it will redirect us to the next line. So it might come handy in various various cases like in this one, if I want to write hello everyone, it's PC helper here. So I want it's PC helper here in the next line. But here I got an error because I started with double quotation mark, but I forgot to add double quotation at the end of this string. It is a silly mistake. So don't do it in future. So just write print. Hello everyone. It's PC helper here. And if we put a backslash in before it's PC helper here, we'll get it's PC helper here in the next line, as you can see. But if in any case, we want to write backslash n in our string and we do not want it to change our line, we want backslash n to be part of a string. Then what we have to do is we just have to use character R before starting a string. So if we write R before a string, then it will tell our Python to print the raw string as it is and don't use any special character. So backslash n won't be considered as a special character and it won't change our line. So we'll get a raw string with backslash n being a part of it. And before ending this video, let's try another thing. So we'll use two arithmetic operators in a string. So let's take first string a is equal to PC 
and let's take another thing another string is equal to helper so now we'll apply some arithmetic operators in it we can only apply two of them that is addition operator and multiplication operator so if we write a plus b then both of these strings will be concatenated as you can see pc helper is the output so and if we want to multiply it we can also multiply them but not like this we cannot do a multiply by b because pc into helper is nothing we won't get any output but if we want to multiply a single string by itself so as you can see a is a string pc and if we want to print pc 5 times or 10 times or 100 times then we can just simply multiply a by the number of times we want it to be printed so if we want pc to be printed 5 times i printed it 5 times by doing a into 5 and i printed helper 8 times by doing b into 8 so it's really simple so in this video we learned that we use single quotes or double quotes to represent string then we learned that if we want to use single quotes or double quotes to be a part of a string then we use backslash that is also called the escape character to fix this problem and also if we use backslash n it is used to change the line and if we want backslash n to be a part of a string then we use this special character r to print the raw string and we can use addition and multiplication operator in our strings so that's it for this video i hope you liked it and in the next video we'll be talking about accessing different characters in strings so if we want to access a different correct access a specific character in a string and we want to change something in a string then how should we do it so in the next lecture we'll be talking about that only so thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one